We explain how the world found itself in the Cold War. With Japanese surrender in August 1945, World War II came to an end and the Cold War began. Eastern European communists, encouraged by the Soviet Union, canceled free elections, which had been the fear of Churchill and Truman. General George S. Patton had been removed from leadership by General Eisenhower for calling on America to turn the military already in Europe on the Soviets. The British themselves had a plan called Operation Unthinkable that also called for an attack on the USSR to push them out of Eastern Europe. However, most people in the world didn't have the stomach for a third major war in less than 30 years and stalemate set in. Churchill told a crowd in Missouri in 1946, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. The Soviets' biggest fear was the West would begin spreading a global capitalist revolution backed by atomic weapons. Western leaders saw Soviet control of the East as the first step toward Marx's global communist revolution. The West was only assured by the fact of their safety by the fact that the Soviets did not yet have an atomic weapon. However, the race had been on as both sides had moved into Germany as the last days of the war and after the war to gather as much nuclear material as they could and scientists who'd been involved in the Nazi nuclear program. Unfortunately for the Soviets, much of the personnel had been moved to the French zone at the last days of the war. The Allies were able to grab and detain scientists like Hahn and Heisenberg under a series of operations. The operations had originally been intended for interrogation of the atomic program, but increased the scope to the idea of resettlement in America and jobs in the space and rocket programs under Operation Paperclip. A major controversial prize was Werner von Braun, head of the Nazi V-2 rocket program, who was brought to the U.S. to lead the U.S. space program to the moon. The Soviets were able to turn up a few key scientists, either through communist sympathies or force. What the Soviets did have in Eastern Europe was a lot of Czech uranium mines and abandoned science facilities with notes. One way the Soviets appealed to the German scientists was by creating national awards to show their merit, like the Order of Lenin. Thanks to the new materials, mines, labs, and the spies in Los Alamos, the Soviets eventually caught up to the United States. On August 29, 1949, the Soviets detonated their first atomic bomb in Kazakhstan under the name First Lightning. It was an implosion bomb like Fat Man and measured it at 20 kilotons. The Cold War had suddenly taken on a new level of danger and possible global destruction. The U.S. quickly scrambled to boost its nuclear non-conventional forces and also its conventional troops for ground invasions designed to contain the Soviet communist threat. The U.S. also answered the mystery of how the Soviets got the bomb so quickly when they found and arrested Klaus Fuchs as the one who'd given the Soviets the blueprints to Fat Man, among other secrets of the Manhattan Project. He'd also tipped them off to U.S. plan to build an even bigger weapon, the fusion-based hydrogen bomb which due to the Soviet bomb was rushed into production and detonated over the Bikini Atoll Islands in 1952 at 10 megatons that vaporized the entire island. 